Okay, we got uh, some more of the weather stripping in. I tell you, I really expected a hassle with these small pieces, but it really went easily. Um, originally, they were pop riveted from the inside out, but um, it looked like it was trying to split the fiberglass originally, so what I did is I came from the outside in, and that way we don't have to worry about this piece sticking out over here and hitting the glass or anything. So uh, I think that works a lot better than it was originally, to be honest with you. I don't know if I can get that still enough to make it focus. But I think you get the picture. Um, I'm using the yellow VersaChem weather strip adhesive. Seems to be working really, really well. Just follow the directions and you shouldn't have any problems. You see I got a little bit right in here, but um, it's really not much at all. And I think the majority of it will just pull off. But uh, yeah, it's nice and tight. Doesn't want to go anywhere. Everything from the, uh, the sunroof around all the way to the top of the glass. Now I'm starting to work on the doors. And uh, again, stuff isn't perfect. I don't expect it to be. Okay, where is my flashlight? There it is. Okay, you can see the two screws there. Now that little plate that they're in, I had to grind those corners. You can see how close they are to the contour of the edge of the door. So I had to grind the corners of that small metal plate to get that to fit in there right. And also right here, you can see where I'm shining the light. That was sticking way out and there's a piece of metal in there. So I took it off, bent the metal back and got it to fit really nice and tight. So that's where we're at. I'm fixing to uh, glue this all the way around. What I'm going to do is um, 24, 36 inches at a time, put glue on both sides, real thin layer, let it dry. Then I'm going to put another thin layer on one of the edges and uh, put it together. I'm going to do the sides, the parts that go up and down, the back and then the front. And then I'm going to do the stretching on the bottom. I'd rather have it tight on the bottom and just holding with glue on the sides. I don't want anything to be pulling out this way, no pressure on it. So that's the way I, at least I plan to do it. So uh, wish me luck and I'll let you know what happens later.